five upper body exercises you must do to get lean, toned, and of course, strong. Have you been dreaming about that nice, lean and toned physique and removing the fat under the arms and the back of your body? Well, today I will be showing you five exercises that will help you to achieve that. But before we go into the main video, let me clarify one thing. If your eating habits are not on point, then it doesn't matter how many exercises you do, how many sets, how many reps, the muscles <laughs> won't be visible. However, if you're eating right, then these exercises will help you to build that nice lean physique. Okay, but right now, let's get back to the main video. And the exercises that I'm going to show you will target the majority of the muscle groups. And don't worry, it doesn't matter if you are the beginner or the seasoned gym goer, these exercises can be modified accordingly. So anyone can get a great workout. So the first exercise that I'm going to show you is a pull-up. So you will need the pull-up bar and with the pull-ups, there are the different hand placements. So you can do overhand, you can do underhand, or simple, the neutral grip. And I will be showing you the neutral grip because it's the best if you've got the issues with the wrist. Okay, let's go. Pull-ups will target your lats, biceps, traps, and core. Make sure to engage your scapulas. understand that not everyone can do the full pull-ups. That's why the resistance band is your biggest friend. So you pull yourself up and down without touching the floor. Up and down. You're not touching. If you haven't got a resistance band, what you can do? Negative. So you just jump on and then slowly going down again. Jump on and then slowly going down. And the easiest version would be performing Australian pull-ups. That way you can build the strength to do the negatives or the full pull-up. You can start with your either bent legs or straight legs. Obviously, bent legs easier, straight legs harder. And just pull the bar to your chest. And here you have option of pronated grip or you could perform supinated grip. However, this would work more your biceps. And right now we're going onto the ground and the next exercise is the push-up. So push-up will target your chest, your shoulders, your triceps and also your core. And then what you need to do, if you've got the issue with the wrist, then the parallels are really helpful for this way. Other than that, you just start with the normal hand placement. So you go into plank position, make sure you keep the elbow close to your body and just lower down and then push up. Lower down, push up. And then a different modification for the push-ups will target different muscles. For example, if you go into diamond push-up, then it will target more your triceps. Obviously, they are more difficult. So again, going down, push up. Down, push up. And then if you want to target more your chest, you will go into the wider push-ups. And I understand, not everyone can do the push-ups straight away. So don't be scared to go on the knees. It's nothing wrong with that modification. 
and you're just building the strength to go into full push-up. And then when you are ready, jump on to the negatives. And then the common mistakes is just not keeping the elbows close to your body. Or just lifting your butt too high. Or sometimes it's just too low. And another great bodyweight exercise, it's dips. And dips will target majority your triceps and also your chest, well, your pecs. But also it will target the shoulders um, and some muscles at the back. So I'm using the dip bars. Obviously, when you are at the gym, you can use the dip station, but this one works a magic for me. So you lift yourself up and then slowly down and up. And then again, I understand not everyone can perform the full dip. That's why, again, your friend, resistance band. And with the resistance band, it's great because you can also measure the difficulty level because if you pull your resistance bands like that, obviously it will be easier. But if you do a bigger loop, then it will be harder. It's just a word of warning. Make sure you're properly holding the resistance band so it's not shit in your face. And the principle is the same. And then Push up. And the same like with the push-ups and the pull-ups, you can do the negatives. And the principle, it's the same. So you lift yourself up, going down, and then go up. Jump on, down, and then go up. Another great exercise, which is a compound movement, and it targets more muscle groups, it's overhead shoulder press. So what you need to do, you need to stand feet shoulder width apart, engage your core, very important, and keeping the straight line. So when you're pushing up, it's a straight line. So you're not doing anything like that, or anything like that, or in front of yourself, no, because you can easily injure your shoulders. And you can use either the barbell or you can use the dumbbells. I'm going to use the barbell. Shoulder press will target anterior deltoid, which is front shoulder muscle, triceps, upper pecs, which is chest muscle, trapezius in upper back, rotator cuff muscle and core. And it's time for our last exercise which is single arm dumbbell row. So what you will need, obviously dumbbell and the bench. And it's a great unilateral exercise because it will remove any imbalances in your muscles. So left arm on the bench, left leg on the bench, back flat, and then grab the dumbbell and just it back and it's nice and controlled movement so don't drop the weight it's just pull it up and then down muscles targeted lats rhomboid trapezius rear delts and another mistake is just rotating your torso so nothing like that because you're not engaging your muscles properly. And obviously, perform both sides. There you have it, five exercises that will help you to build lean muscles 
and get that tone look. And as I promised you at the beginning of the video, here are how many sets and reps you should perform for the each exercise. Leave the comment below which exercise was your favorite. And come on, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of my awesome routines. And thanks for watching and I know that you will be crushing those fitness goals. But before you disappear, come on, if you want to build strong legs, then definitely watch my latest video. But right now, peace out.